the Klamath Bird Observatory grew out of a program called Partners in Flight. And Partners in Flight uh, in the early 1990s was developed as a bird conservation initiative out of concern that many of the land birds or songbirds, birds that frequent our bird feeders, were declining, especially migratory birds across the continent. And the idea of Partners in Flight was to have a very proactive, partnership-oriented conservation initiative that had a dual mission to keep common birds common and to reverse declines of the most at-risk species. And the nature of this was to try to do this before these species warranted listing under the Endangered Species Act, which starts to become very expensive and uh, problematic uh, as far as proactive conservation. And so many of the large natural resource management agencies got on board with Partners in Flight early on. The U.S. Forest Service, Fish and Wildlife Service, Bureau of Land Management, uh, many different partners like that really supporting and contributing these efforts. And so we began to work in this area of Northern California and Southern Oregon, recognizing its unique biodiversity to inventory and start doing long-term monitoring in the various diverse habitats that we have in this area, starting really our data sets go back to 1992. Science director Jamie Stevens explains how the careful study of birds can tell us about the health of the ecosystem. Birds provide a really good indicator of the health of our environment because when we go out and we monitor birds we can monitor all the different species at the same time and because of their high metabolic rate and mobility they respond really quickly to changes in their habitat. So when we monitor the handful of species, each of those species is going to respond differently to different changes in the habitat. And by understanding, um, by understanding what each individual species is doing, we can get a good um, handle on how our environment is doing. 